I want to talk to you guys about right wing framing. Mm, excuse me. I also need water. Um, white, right wing framing. Very short. Sam, uh, Sam Stein. Po uh, wow, my shit is fucking up today. Sam Stein says Biden lets out his inner Robin Hood. His speech was a full born embrace of, of redistributive government, re redistributive government, the likes of which we haven't seen in decades, blah, blah, blah. So Aaron was like, yo, this is some aggressively right wing framing, which it is. Obviously, duh. The trigger words. Oh, um, Robin Hood, steal from the rich, take, uh, give on to the poor, um, redistributive government. Like, oh, everybody gets everything. It's socialism. He's, he's, he's alluding to socialism. He's alluding to fucking socialism. I hate this. I hate this every day in and out with this dumb shit. So he said, huh? I thought the left embraced redistribution these days. The White House this week openly touted the popularity of tax plans that targeted the wealthy. Now it's right-wing framing to note this? Yeah, it's right-wing framing to insinuate so... That's a comment. Okay, so... So I want to have a quick, just like three minute overview of the Republican strategy thus far. The conservative strategy. This is not, I think, all right. There's like three different camps of Republican. You have the MAGA camp, you have the conservative camp, and you have the Republican camp. For the Republican camp, I think the argument is on their side you know, the tax policies, the this and that, the shit that they're usually about, but they're in the minority right now. And there's a reason for that. The reason why is because their wedge issues are things that they can't reasonably debate with Democrats on. And when I say reasonably debate, I mean the style in which we try to approach legislation, legislation for the greater American people is always going to be split between or, uh, rural and or. Oh my God, today my speech has been horrible. And I apologize if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like, get it together. My fucking bad. I don't know. I'm probably tired today. That's probably what it is. Probably just exhausted. Anyway, so what you're seeing here with the Republican side uh, of the camp, the, the Republican camp, is that the issues that they want to talk about are literally economic issues, are literally corporational issues. They cannot argue with the Democrats because the Democrats are currently saying, uh, let's do it for the people, let's do it for the people. So even if you wanted to have the opposite side of that, what you're going to end up hearing is, so you don't want to do it for the people? I would love to see you actually argue that, which is what Tim Scott was doing, like sort of, kind of, and that's why it was pissing me off to even cover that. So then you have the conservative camp, very religious, very white, but generally in the conservative camp you'll get this mixture and this is the problem between conservatives magas and the republican camp is the conservatives kind of stay to themselves in the realm of like yeah this is no this is correct because then of the gap that i'm about to make will be filled in with the uh, maga crowd okay the conservative sides really care about religion really care about eth uh, ethos really care about traditional values those are the people that won't go out of their way to be racist towards you, but it'll slip out in casual conversation or it'll be a casual part of their, you know, um, dialect. It'll be a part of their actions. It'll be a part of their, 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 their think, so to speak. They aren't openly racist, but they can be pushed to it. You might say, okay, so what's the difference between a Republican and a conservative? Those two are, 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 are land in hand, but... The separation is coming, which is what I said about the gap, is because the conservatives align a little bit less with Republican values and more with the MAGA crowd. Now, the MAGA crowd is the largest part of the Republican camp. And for all of these people, it is a very white supremacist ideal-led group of human beings now you might say well i like donald trump and i'm not a white supremacist true but you now i now put the pieces together 
there are gaps in your lie in your thinking, right? There are gaps in what you agree with with the MAGA crowd, what you probably disagree with with conservatives or even moderate conservatives, and there's things you disagree with Republicans as a whole. This crowd is one think tank. It is an engine that never stops moving. Its goalposts continue to move because they followed a leader, and they followed groups that also eschewed the same ideas as the leader. The leader is now taken out of power, but his influence is still felt on the MAGA crowd. That is why you're seeing more and more Republican and conservative news outlets constantly dunking on Joe Biden and constantly saying the left is going crazy without presenting their own ideas. They don't function off ideas. They function off of a value, uh, an attributed, albeit insane value that makes them say out loud to themselves, I don't want my country to be this. I don't want this to be that. I don't want this to be this. Why can't it just be the same as it always was? They don't have a future progressive point. They want to regress because they feel like life was less stressful. And now they don't, they don't, they didn't like having to walk on eggshells for every little thing. They said, Oh, the left's going to cancel me. This, that, and the other. We've already done multiple sections on why cancel culture is bullshit. These three camps make up the entirety of the GOP. And that's why I've skipped using that word up until this point. Now, the problem that lies in with the Republican strategy is that it has to serve all three. The benefit of this is that on the MAGA side, on the, on the MAGA side, there are generally no opposition to anyone who just doesn't say, America first! Uh, if you still have Donald Trump's back, I believe in making America great again. America needs to go first. These trigger, these buzzwords will generally get that flock to follow you. So they end up in the middle of the conservative and Republican camp. Because a lot of what they're saying lands in with conservatives. But a lot of what MAGA stands for is something conservatives don't. Because they understand, for the most part... That the world has evolved. It's okay to have conservative policies or conservative ideals on like uh, economic policy, uh, housing, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. But like straight up, the MAGA crowd is more social movement, a more social uh, conservative movement where it's reacting to what they believe is the world changing, that everybody's out to get them, that there's this destruction of white America and we have to like stop it from happening. And the reason why I'm able to say that with confidence is because if you have noticed lately, what crowd of people generally on the opposition to any social movement that has nothing to do with them? See that? Black Lives Matter didn't show up to a stop Asian hate protest. They were with them. Asian people generally are seen as that model minority myth idea while they're like, and they get success. I, that's such a dumb thing to even, even have as a, as a belief. But, um, because of all of that, because of how, uh, Asian Americans are seen as that, oh, he's passable enough to be white. Well, he's smart. Yeah, he's not wild. Like those, those, those blacks, like that, that type of thought process. Um, what ends up happening is at that juncture of all these ideas, what they are reacting to is the mere mention of a change in social caste system. They don't understand that, though, which is why you'll see conservatives be like, yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse was walling out. MAGAs will be like, yeah, he did the right thing. Reacting to the status quo and being against it just because you feel like if it were to be implemented or become mainstream ideology it would destroy everything that you love about this country or would destroy everything about your life or whatever dumb shit you want to swallow uh, in your life. The Republican strategy is to fall in line with that crowd because that crowd is the loudest. That's 74 million Americans. Now, you might say out of those 74 million, not all of them are diehard maggots. Yeah, but the group is a Republican group. So they appeal to the largest part of that base. And the rest have to go with it because they don't want the radical left. 
conservatives and Republicans might not believe that as much, but they are still willing to vote in their party lines. They're not going to go and give Democrats power just because people are acting insane on their side. You see that? So it's like, it's tricky. So the Republican uh, strategy, sorry, I already covered this, is them saying dumb shit to get you to react to it. They want you to become hostile so they can show, look, look, they're, they're, they're attacking me for my beliefs. <coughs> when in fact, you are causing it by literally doing the thing. Let's say, let's say I think uh, 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 Goku could be Superman. I don't really think that. Okay, in real life, I really don't think that Superman wins that fight. But <laughs> oh, all the anime heads, all the, all the comic nerds got mad at me. Holy shit. What the trigger point for this becomes, or what the strategy ends up being, is I say it, I, I, let's say I believe, so you know, Goku be Superman. I'm just getting you mad. Then I'm going to point to that anger and say, look, if they're willing to be this angry over that opinion, imagine what they'll say when you speak your mind. You yourself would be like, yeah, I'd never say that in public. But you're more mad about the reaction than you are the actual substance of what's being said. It is a very strong, strong offensive maneuver because you are constantly counterattacking by just existing. You start on a negative note i believe black people should just have you know yeah black people don't need any more help they're good on their own like that's gonna get you a negative response see all i did was express a value that i'm sure other black people have and they got mad at me over it how dare they cancel me and the cycle continues it is a very strong strategy and it is something that democrats need to work on massively if they plan to win any more elections from here to the next 10 years. Because obviously in the next 10 years, life is going to be much different. But like, yo, work on it, guys.